full throttle. They look really good. How do you like it? Does it look good? So this is my new merch, I finally got it. And I absolutely love it. And if you like it too, you can go to the link in the description to buy it at my Etsy shop. It'd be a really good way to support me. So thank you guys. So the last video did really, really good. The Swingwing V2 is my favorite thing ever. I love the airplane. I've been flying it to death. It's so much fun. Now in the comments of the last video, Peter Schreepel commented. What? What? This is crazy. He said, Epic, now make it more durable and swan dive into the water. I love this idea. So the last plane, if you don't know, go watch the video, but it had deploying and retracting wings. And it was awesome to fly and retract the wings and fall and open them again. And it could take off on the water and stuff. But who needs to take off in the water when you can just close the wings and dive right into it? And I thought of this before and I have a lot of ideas that I'm gonna do with the swing wing mechanism, like a flying car and hopefully the next video. And definitely subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss that flying car with the retractable wings. It's gonna be awesome. But if we're gonna be doing stuff like this, flying airplanes 70 miles an hour straight into the water, we're gonna need a retrieval craft. So that's what I wanna do in today's video. I wanna make some sort of motorized raft that I can use to go retrieve my swing wings and airplanes from the water. And that's how you know you're doing the hobby right, when you need some kind of motorized vehicle to go get your airplanes from the water. So let's go make a trip to Walmart, get a raft, and do some experimenting with the things that I already have with me now. All right. Let's see if we can move with this first. Let's see it too. Oh my god, my sunglasses are on fire. Oh my god. Gosh. Oh, jeez. That is, that is strong. <laughs> Oh! We got a wake behind us. <laughs> so, see how fast we can spin. Oh. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is sick. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, what's that sound? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh, are you good? Oh, the motor got extremely hot. It melted the PLA. <laughs> yeah, maybe um, moving the boat with the boat was not a good idea. Yeah, yeah, it's just how are we, are we gonna oh. get? How are we gonna get back to shore? There we go. There you go. Are we moving? <laughs> hey, land ho! Got it. Let's see if this will pull us. All right. Oh, oh. Hey! Moving little by little. Yeah! Oh, this is sick. Some strong motors. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's good. That's better. Yo, this is hard to record. Hold on. Oh. Okay, so that was a lot of fun, and that was a really good experiment, and I couldn't believe how well that little RC boat tugged us along. But now we gotta actually motorize this thing. Now I'm thinking, I have two 10-inch airplane motors that I can use for this, and I've always wanted to see if you could actually just use regular RC airplane components to motorize a boat. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, we also need something to mount these motors onto, and I'm thinking maybe a yardstick or something. They're cheap, and they're really sturdy for stuff like this. So let's go see what I find at Walmart. This will be good. That's what do you think? <laughs> we found it. This is what I was looking for. 18. Oh my god. This is highway robbery. 
Walmart didn't have anything <laughs> to hold our motors onto. Like a yardstick. They don't have yardsticks at Walmart. So we gotta go to Lowe's. Alright, we gotta head to Lowe's. <laughs> <laughs> Cut straight to the <laughs> $1? What? <laughs> what are they measuring? <laughs> so we're gonna build a, a powered raft out of yardsticks and a raft from Walmart. Alright, so air motors, yeah, we gotta figure it out. We're gonna have them through here like that. The water motor though, we're just gonna have to... Oh! <laughs> Yo! Oh, that's what we're doing. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay, should we do water or air first? What do you think? Water. 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 Let's do the water. I know this isn't gonna be efficient, but look at this thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we made it. <laughs> oh, oh, we're moving now. Kind of leaving awake. Very slowly. Slowly, but we're definitely moving. Should we hit full speed? Yeah, let's go. Let's go for it. It's full speed. That's actually pretty fast. Well, while we're out here, I have the battery up front. It's just gonna sub in with it. Telemetry lost. We need smaller propellers, I think. Yeah. So that was an unsuccessful trip to the lake. <laughs> this is the thing we came up with. Problem number one. These propellers, these things are air propellers and they suck. We need a good water propeller. So this is RC Test Flight's toroidal propeller from his latest video. What I've done is scaled it down so that it's the size of this motor. One of the problems was that this shaft is smaller than the propeller so it wouldn't be long enough to get a bolt on here to screw it on. So what I did was cut out a hole for a nut like this to insert it here and then the propeller would just screw right onto the motor. All right let's go print this thing. They look really good. Look at that. Okay, so I printed these toroidal props, and then I also printed out these regular props here. Yeah, let's try this out. We're gonna compare the two. Ooh. And now let's try out the regular propeller. Okay, that's definitely got less thrust than the toroidal propeller, actually. That's crazy. All right, so Charlie, isn't here today. Well, for now, might be here later. So yeah, toroidal propellers, let's go try this thing out. Oh, it's working guys. Okay, so the problem is the differential does not work and it's also windy out here. So I have to lean like this in order to steer and it's actually working pretty good. How's it look? All right, we go full throttle, watch it. The bottom has definitely got a leak in it. The gray section definitely has a leak in it. I would say that the propellers and motor are definitely successful, but I would also say that this boat absolutely freaking sucks. <laughs> So that was a successful trip. Toroto propellers were amazing and the motors actually got me moving pretty fast. And shout out to RC Test Flight for putting out those Toroto props onto Onshape for anyone to use and edit. But yeah, it was a pretty successful trip. I had gone all the way from the shore to an island I had seen out in the distance and I got there pretty quickly. But yeah, the boat was awful. It was pretty much a sarcophagus. I was stuck in that thing and could not move. But it also really just wasn't exactly what I had envisioned. Now, so engineering and failure, they go hand in hand. You cannot have one without the other. If you're gonna be making something, you're gonna have to learn how to fail. And it can be really, really disheartening. The amount of hours that you spend on something sometimes could be weeks, like actual weeks worth of hours on something. And not for a second that whole time might you see 
any progress or any light of day. But sometimes you want something so bad that you just can't let it go. And sometimes you do have to know when to let go. But as an engineer at heart, I was not letting this one go. I was seeing it through to the end. Well, we definitely solved our boat problem. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Look, look. It's like a perfect fit. All right, let's check this out. So, this fits in here perfectly. I don't know why they put holes in a kayak, but they do, so this is awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's all done. We can go find the Loch Ness Monster with this thing. This thing is sturdy. It's not going nowhere. Yes, this thing works. It actually works now. So let's go have fun and use this thing for what it was actually intended for. That was cool. I've never done that before. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> what the heck? That was too cool. V2, back in business. We're good for another 300 nautical miles right here. <laughs> That is so awesome. I'm gonna have a tiny bit of a tiny bit Let's get close to us. 